the prevalence. The prevalence of malaria was so high way back in 2009. By that time, the prevalence was 42%. But with all the interventions we put in place, the prevalence came down to 19% in 2014. But again, we put a lot of intervention, a lot of campaign, and a lot of investment in terms of malaria prevention. This has brought the prevalence down to 9.2%. So as we speak, in average, country-wise, the prevalence is 9.2%, but this varies from region to region. There are regions with very high prevalence, there are those with very low prevalence, that is why the distribution of mosquito net really varies, and it targets that burden. In terms of burden in the health sector, malaria is still the leading cause of mortality and morbidity in our population. Many people still die because of malaria, there are many disability and morbidity because of malaria. 30% of all outpatient attendance is because of malaria. If you go to any health facility, you count out of 10 people, you get three people have come to, uh, to the facility because of malaria. And of course, 20% of all hospital admissions are because of malaria. If you went to any hospital, out of 10 people admitted, at least two are because of malaria. Time round, the campaign is under the theme, under the net. Under this campaign, we're going to see the distribution of 27.5 million long-lasting insecticide-treated mosquito nets throughout the country. The main objective of this campaign is to increase access and ownership of nets in communities across our country. This campaign is further expected to create a culture of net use. The campaign will be a door-to-door -door distribution, and it will not encourage gathering at a specific point as it was in the previous early campaign. It will be door-to-door -door campaign. The distribution exercise per wave will last from five to, to one week. This is to reduce interaction with different communities. Given the current COVID-19 outbreak, registration of households and distribution of mosquito nets will take one week per wave and will be conducted door to door. There's going to be a team of three people, the LC1, the village health team, and a youth 